Welcome to my backyard garden. It's a really nice spring day. Everything's in place. The uh, warm weather crops, squash, and cucumber, lettuce, tomatoes, more lettuce. Peppers were in the ground yesterday and got beets over there. The maple tree. And then uh, what's left of the turnips to pick. I got carrots over there. So, time to put the uh, racks up. The tomatoes are doing really well. I put these in the ground last week. If you haven't seen that video, go to my page. Anyway, but the tomatoes are great. Got some flowers already. Got some suckers. I'll talk about suckers and that kind of stuff in a, about a week or so once these tomatoes get going. Anyway, but I'm going to put the rack up for my tomatoes. That's the project for today. Alright, so I have to put this piece of wood in here. This is just a regular piece of wood I cut. I don't know, it's two inches square, drill some holes. And this hole right here, the uh, rebar will go down through. And this is why, if I just put this pipe on the ground like this, the weight of the tomatoes would eventually make it sink into the ground just like that. And everything would sag. And I'd have to just keep uh, adjusting my tomatoes uh, on the line. So this. The pipe will sit right there over the rebar, just like that, and become really stable. Okay, so I put my rebar through the hole. I want about maybe a foot or so left over uh, for the pipe to go down onto. And you notice I've angled it in toward the bed because I need pressure on the top of the pipe to hold everything together on the cross pieces. All right, so I've got my two side uh, supports in. I'm gonna need a center support too because a 10 foot length, which is how long this bed is, isn't gonna support these very well. The pipe will sag. I don't want any sagging on my support. So I laid my two five-foot five, cross, five foot cross pieces down, and this is where that's going to go. That center support's going to go right in there. Right, that's what we look like. There's a lot of tension on this right here. You don't normally you would screw this in here and here. You don't even need to because it's not going anywhere. This T will be fine. Right there. Fits pretty good. And of course that T connector is good. And this lines up pretty much right where the tomatoes are coming out of the ground. And then the next thing I have to do is string them up. Just to show you what this is. It's a sixteenth of an inch, probably, nylon cord. All you're going to do is take it and tie a little loop. Just like that. Need a loop. Because that is going to go inside the hook. And that's how you're going to anchor your tomatoes to the ground. Then you take your cord and you're going to go about an extra foot from the pipe, cross piece, and straight up from the tomato. All you're going to do is tie a little Boy Scout knot. So you go inside, 
and go down and you keep looping it again just like that so it comes out the other side and do that one more time this is how you uh, tied up your tents and you can just tighten the tension like that and there you go okay then the last thing you have to do is wrap these tomatoes around the line you get right down here here's the line and see how I've wrapped it around the twine you just want to be careful that you don't break off the top of the plant so you just want to be uh, gentle with these things and there's a sucker I'm gonna pinch that off whoops there you go pinch that off and pinch these off too just do that just get out of the way that's the bigger one I'm gonna cut that out but that's all you have to do that's how I tie up my tomatoes and the single stem method means this stem goes all the way up to the top and by the time we get done with the season the uh, plants will be maybe about 6 to 12 inches above that stem and that's all I need because anything above that uh, cross piece is not going to uh, ripen in time for the the season anyway. So that's my setup. Nice thing about this is I can use it every year. Over and over again the pipes won't uh, degrade. Um, the, t the nylon cord will last for years. All I have to do is untie the top, put it away and use it next year. Um, this thing takes like five minutes to set up. So hope that gave you some ideas. If you like the video give it a like, share it with your friends, leave your comments and questions below. Subscribe to my channel if you would and pound the bell to get notified of my future videos. Back soon with another video. Bye-bye.